they thought you fell off, but you're still here and you're still standing. Welcome to the Mindset Elevator, everybody, guys. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and let's get right into this video. Folks were under the assumption that you fell off, all right? People thought you fell off in every way of the term. People thought that you're not working hard anymore. You're not, everything's not working out for you anymore. They're not seeing the moves that you're making anymore. So they had this assumption that you fell off. That's why a lot of folks are gonna be acting like kind of surprised and taken aback when they see what you've been actually working on in the background. It's what they don't see that's what they don't understand and that's what they don't appreciate. I've said this so many times on this channel. People are very, very superficial. If you're not dripping in designer or driving the newest whip, people think that you're not making any moves, that you're broke, that you're down, that you're out. And it's like, no, I'm building in the background and for good reason because of these people. Sometimes you can't really say too much. You got to move in silence. You got to work in silence and work diligently. You're going to see yourself actually being more productive when you keep certain things to yourself and kind of away from everyone's prying eyes. Because at the end of the day, folks who thought you fell off are falling out, right? They're falling out because they did not really take into consideration that you're just intelligently building in the background, quiet without a lot of people prying into your information, trying to see all the updates. When you pop out and everybody sees, you know, the full extent of what you've been working towards, you know, there's gonna be a lot of shock. There's gonna be a lot of resentment, a lot of bitterness because people are superficial. They didn't see it on you, so they said, hey, it must not exist. But, you know, that's the thing. When you come out and you show that you have been diligent, you have been steadfast, and you have been working on yourself, you know, they start getting a little bit jealous. They start feeling some type of way, right? And so this is the thing. People thought that you fell off because they see no evidence of your growth. They don't see all the moves you're making. So they're thinking that there are no moves being made in general. And that's where they always get wrong, right? Because sometimes we have to do what we have to do in the background to work on whatever it is we're trying to build, right? And so we, not everybody needs to know that. Not everybody needs to see step by step by step everything that you're growing, everything that you're doing. You could be building your whole life from the, from, you know, the bottom again. And people think, oh, you're still at the bottom. But <laughs> unbeknownst to them, you've been doing a steady climb. They don't see the climb because they don't see your blessings all the time. And sometimes... We're just being blessed with more time. We're being blessed with more days. You know, every week that goes by is a week that you can grow yourself in the background, right? And people don't understand that and they cannot appreciate these basic facts. Folks thought that you fell off. Maybe you told them about a business, but you haven't been talking about that business for a while. So they're kind of hoping and thinking that that business is nullified, that it doesn't exist anymore. And little do they know, not only does it exist, but you're thriving, you're under a new page, you're under new management, you're been, you've been tweaking a lot of things in the background. They don't see, right? They don't see. And that humbles them as well to realize that you're so real, you're working, you know, you're working in your field, you're doing everything you can, you're rebuilding your life, and you have the happiness, you have the peace, everything's growing, everything's working out for you. It's the things that people do not see because a lot of humans are superficial. So when they don't see you in a certain way, they think that, oh, your life is like this or your life is like that. Because a lot of the world's problems come from competition and jealousy. A lot of the problems come with people, you know, wanting to chase a certain lifestyle because they saw it on TikTok, right? Or they saw it on Instagram. And that's not realistic, right? Because a lot of people, including yourself, have a lot of great things to show for themselves, but just because you don't sh look like it materialistically or because you don't floss, you don't flaunt, you're not into that stuff, people are having the assumption that you're not onto anything, that you're not working towards anything, and in the background, you're literally building an empire, right? And they don't see that because you're moving different. You move different in general. You're not like everybody else, so why would you move like everybody else, right? So folks thought that you fell off, but you've been on the entire time. 
you've been on your business, you've been minding your business, you've been in your own lane. I mean, a lot of people have been trying to probably come into your life and cause some disruption and cause some confusion and distortions. And all that it's really doing here is probably you know, skyrocketing you higher to where you got to go because you're not supposed to be around that type of energy, right? You're supposed to go up. You're supposed to be great. You're supposed to love life. You're supposed to grind. You know, it's a lot of things that we're working on in the background that we keep under wraps. That doesn't mean that it's not there. That doesn't mean that we fell off. We've been on our business, right? We've been doing our own thing and not really too worried about what everyone else thinks about it, right? Or... You may be working on a hobby that people are so used to you talking about all the time. And because maybe you got the clue or the hint that they're kind of jealous or feel some type of way, maybe you stop telling them certain things about your hobby, your new business, your new job, your new family, your man, your woman, you know what I mean? Your relationship. You stop delving into specifics about your life and what you're building and what you're holding dear. So they start thinking that, oh, it doesn't exist for you anymore or that relationship failed little do they know you're planning to get married you know what i mean and you're just keeping that quiet hush hush or that business that they think you know doesn't exist anymore is thriving and once again you're under a, a different management you changed everything you're under a new page that they didn't find or they didn't know about or that new job they didn't hear you talk about it so maybe you got fired but little do they know you just got promoted to be like the supervisor right it's like they cannot appreciate what you're building in the background or what you're keeping to yourself these are joyous moments these are sacred moments for a lot of us and we start to see that not everybody's really happy for us we didn't fall off though we're here We've been on our business. We've been focused on our plans. We've been focused on our initiatives, our ventures, right? Keeping our happiness intact. We've been doing all that, right? Anybody who's confused about it, sorry, you know, but I'm here. I did not fall off, you know, and say it in the comments. I did not fall off. All right. Listen, when it comes to you, there is no falling off, right? You may have fallen off the map. In the sense that you know you're not really putting too much out there anymore and that's your prerogative that's a good thing there's nothing wrong with that right you are working though in the background you are building in the background you are thriving not just surviving you are thriving you are are getting higher and elevating yourself in every way shape and form and that's what people don't see because maybe you don't look like it just like you don't look like a lot of the things that you went through right because you're strong and because you're solid, right? People think, oh, you had a good life or a happy life or a peaceful life or everything's just so prissy and uh, rainbows and lollipops when you probably had the most struggle of a lot of the people around you have been through a lot of things that people just don't come back from, especially mentally. A lot of things were probably damaging, but you're still here. So when people find out what you've been through or the things that you dealt with, they're thinking like, you? And they don't believe it because you don't look like it. It's the same thing when you're building in the background, you may not look like you have it all together. So people are thinking, oh, you don't have nothing. But little do they know there's a whole empire behind you. So what are they going to do, right? And people start getting resentful ab about that because it's like, how did that fly over their head? But it's because of the superficiality that has penetrated this earth you know a lot of people are more into the superficial materialistic TikTok, instagram stuff right that you know they feed these a lot of times it's just fake ideologies trends and stuff like that that people follow behind mindlessly by the way just following trends not doing it because they want to doing it because they saw it on TikTok, right you got to have your own mind. You got to have your own way. You have to know who you are. You got to do your own thing, make it original, right? And that's the thing when you're building and you're doing your own thing out of the background, in the background, it's like, that's very original. A lot of people like to just put it out there, you know, and, you know, competition start and social media frenzies and things like that. When you're building humbly in the background, a lot of people just find that unusual, right? Now these days, the, the things that are seem like common sense or the things that seem like general knowledge, uh, you know, like basic knowledge, people are acting like they're foreign concepts, right? It's like being real, being humble and, be, and working in the background and being maybe sometimes frugal, you know, being happy with what you have, you know, simple life. That's unusual these days. But we're like, hey, we love this stuff, right? 
to a lot of people out here in the uh, worldly things, how we move is unusual, how we move is like taboo or strange or foreign, alien, right? And so this is why sometimes you're going to get people treating you a little strange when, you know, they're thinking that you fell off. And it's like, I've been on. I've been on my business. I'm not going anywhere. I'm doing me. And I'm going to keep doing me. Say that in the comments. I'm going to keep doing me. I did not fall off. All right, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for supporting the Mindset Elevator and rocking with me for as long as a lot of you have been. And of course, if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for considering the Mindset Elevator. And I hope you guys are feeling blessed, feeling happy, taking care of yourselves, keeping it real. You know what I mean? Love life, live life. You gotta move up in life with the happiness and the joy. Look for every day. Every day find something to feel jovial about, to look forward to, you know? So thank you guys. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys soon. Okay, bye.